All right, so hello everybody. How's your day going? How's everybody enjoying this quarantine? Hmm? I have a huge task in front of me today. I am trying to put my makeup in order. And this beautiful shelves. Oh, that is full. That one is full too. But it is a mess. This one is not full, but this one is full. And I have all these things right here. So, hmm. I'm going to try to see how I can do this today. Okay, so this is KKW Base 1. And I don't love this one too much either, but I am going to keep it. So we'll put this one in here. We're gonna keep Becca. This is the Hydro Mist one, I believe. Oh, this is the Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. I'm gonna keep that one. Derma Blend Professional, and this is uh, what the one in Banana Illuminating Banana Powder. I'm gonna keep this one too. This is Cover Girl True Blend Minerals. Really don't like this one, so I'm gonna give this one away. This one is the Becca Hydro Mist one, and I'm gonna keep it. All right, so here I'm thinking to put all my blushes and I think all my blushes and bronzers. This goes here. I'm gonna put over here all my uh, primers. So I have the putty primer. I have this one, which I love to use during the summer. The Lumi Layer Primer. And Elf right here. And I have a bunch of others that I don't have right now. Let me. But I'm gonna go in there. Let's see what else I have in this thing. I wonder where should I put all of these. Um, so, I have some foundations in here. And this is Revlon Color Stay Full Cover Foundation. I'm just going to put it in there. And I'm going to put some of my concealers in there. This is uh, Maybelline. Elf. Setting Spray. I think I'm gonna put setting sprays with the primers. And this is KKW concealer, Boeing concealer from Benefit. Okay, so I found these two. This is the um, illuminated powder from KKW, which I love. I have these two Makeup Forever foundations that I'm not a big fan of, but I am going to put them right there. Alright, so I think we are done with this one. I have my powders right here. I have my um, blushes, bronzers, and uh, face palettes on this side. And then I have some foundations and concealers in here primers and some uh, face sprays right here. 
gonna have to add more to this but for now this is done all right now on to this one i tried to put this one in place before and let's just say i tried okay let's go like this so you can see it better okay so have a pharmacy thing in here i'm gonna change that i'm not gonna leave it here also i have my milani foundation here so i'm just gonna put that in here for now and let's see how we're gonna rearrange this hmm. it's a lot to rearrange for sure and have this thing in here hmm. why not go and do that have this one from color up love it i think maybe i should take this thing out first i'm just gonna push some things in here heap of sweets oh my god i love this i don't want to kind of push it in there i'm just gonna push in there what i don't usually use tarties for remix <laughs> I don't know. This one is not an amazing one, um, but I'm gonna keep keep it for now. Uh, Nightling in pretty vulgar. I only kept this because of that one shade that is pretty much gone now. It's like just a little bit left, and I'm not gonna use it, so I'm gonna give this away. And then I have this one from Almar. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna have I have Ace Beauty right here. I did already a tutorial with this one. I'm gonna leave it down below so you can go and watch it. But I like this one for now. I'm gonna keep it. This is the mini controversy, which I'm not a big fan of. Now my colors in there. Let's see, Milani tried this one. I did not like it. I'm gonna declutter this one. Uh, this one I have had it for a long time, so I'm just gonna declutter this one as well. This one is Makeup Geek the Face Palette, so I'm going to put this one in here. And then I have Anna from Colourpop. Oh my god, I love this palette so much. Let me show it to you. These shades are just gorgeous shades. I love it. So I'm going to keep this one out. Same with that one. Then the Peppermint Frost, it is a highlighter, so I'm going to just put it in here. And we have Makeup Geek right here. This is the small one, a small palette. I have made a video with this one before. Yes, I have used it a little bit. And I do love this one. So I'm going to keep this one right here. So let's see how I'm going to put the other one together. Though. All right, so I found a few more. As you can see over here. <laughs> that needs to be put aside. So I'm thinking to have at least one of these four palettes that I haven't tried yet. Because there's a few that I have not tried yet. So I would very much love to put them in a area where I know where they are so I can go in there and be like okay I haven't tried this one let me take it out and play with it and see how it is so let's see how I'm gonna do this thing all right so this is how I arranged everything here I have the ones that I don't like that much but I still keep this one though it's exception I like that one and then here's are the bulkier ones, Tati Beauty, Conspiracy, Alien Palette, and then at the bottom is Morphe. And then here I have more of the baby ones. This is Living in Color, KKW, Makeup Geek, and then I have 
this one from Italy Colors, and then I have this one from Milani, which I love. And then on this side, I have a bunch of them. I think I can put this one over here too. That's my Sea Lemon one. This is Heaps of Sweet. Um, and then I have Tarte right here, which I really like. It's a really beautiful, um, really beautiful. I gotta say, there's a bunch of things in here that are really nice and I like to play with. This is Moroccan Spice, which we tried. I'm not a big fan. This one, on the other hand, this one is from Mabel, New York. I am in love with this thing. So good. This is a very, very, very good palette and a very, very good price. So I'm going to put that on over there. I have Iconic London in here. And then I have Tarts all the way to the bottom. I have Frozen to Disney. And then I have this thing that I received in one of the Jap Japanese beauty subscription box. I like I have here the glam light pizza and then I have thirsty palette by Jeffree Star which I'm not a huge fan of um, of the mats in that palette but and here are the things that I have not tried yet I'm curious to see all right I have had these for a while now and I haven't tried them. So like I said, I haven't tried Soul Tree from Stacia Beverly Hills. I haven't tried this one, Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I have not tried Blue Blood from Jeffree Star or Amp Provocative Eyes from uh, Private Society. I have not tried the Nubian from Juvia's Place. And then, oh, I tried this one. Let's see. Is there anything else in here? Nope. That is all. Makeup palettes. Put this one over here. Are done. Alright, so this is what we have to deal with in this one. And, you know, it looks horrible. I don't know how we're going to fix this. I'm thinking to make this only for skincare. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to probably get, like, big items and put them right over here. And just, like, kind of keep them in here and see what am I gonna go with so I'm gonna get all these bags out of here too I have a lot of makeup bags and this one these are two items that I got from um, Japan when I went there. And I never tried these. This is an eyebrow pencil. Cool. I should try this soon. And then I have, I think, a blush. Yes. There you go. Definitely going to try these in... A video hopefully soon. Oh, I love these things. I don't have that many left, I believe. But these I got them in my Japanese box, No Make No Life, and love these things. I've been trying them for a while. I don't I only think they're like pads and they're just meant to moisturize your skin. And they're so cool. But I don't have that many left. These are some I never try these. I don't know where I got this from because I I did not order them but I don't know how they got to me but they are like custom fit whitening strips 
Okay, this, I only have a little bit left. I like this as well. Hmm, I never tried this one. Cream. What the hell do I have in here? Some stuff from Ulta. Oh, I never tried this. From Colourpop. What's the name on it? Hmm. Who run this mat? Yeah, I don't know. And an Ulta primer. Love the Ulta primers. So let me see. I'm gonna just gonna throw these things around and then not talk. So I've decided to bring my bathroom uh, thing right here because this one lives next to my bath and bathtub and I want to put stuff that I have in here that are for bathroom specifically in there so it stays right next to it. Okay, so I have a bunch of salts, bathroom salts, so I'm going to put them in here. Beautilish, but oh, okay. What's this? Almond avocado detangling living conditioner. I'm gonna put it in here for now, and then I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do with that. This one. Oh, the Pantene dry conditioner, and I think I have a shampoo as well. My bath salts. Alright, so I've decided to put all my sheet masks in here and also I added these two right here in my whitening strips in case if I want to use them at some point in time. So that way those are all over there. What I'm going to do in here, I'm just going to put all my masks, like bigger one. So this one is a Indian Healing Clay Mask, which I actually tried two or three times and i do like it but i haven't been playing with it that much and then i have dead sea mud mask which i love have a thing from elf it's hydrating bubble mask and then i have the ponds which i'm not a big fan of but i'm just gonna leave it there when the days when i just want something more stronger to wash my eyes with especially when you get like a very a water resistant mascara and then these are the masks over here let me see if i have anything in here else nope. this is a really crazy mask that i got it's like a cat mask i don't know how exactly you do this but i haven't tried it yet i'm just gonna leave it all the way in the back over there 
This thing is a whipped cream face wash as well. I have not tried this. So I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully I will try it soon. Let's see what else is in here. That's bigger. Needs to get in there. So I'm going to go and just put... Whoa. Cool. So I'm going to go and put this Pharmacy Bright On Vitamin C Mask in there. I have an eye cream over here that I haven't opened either. So that's going to go in there from AHC. Get my tin fell on the ground. I'm going to put this one over here as well. I'm just going to leave it like that. These I think I can take them out. Because it's just occupying too much space for leaving like that. It's a Bliss Renew Smooth Glycolic Polyhydroxy Acid for night time. This is Glow and Hydrate Niacinamide Plus Hyaluronic Acid Day Serum. So I'm going to leave that right there. So much better now. I'm gonna close that one and I'm gonna go in this one, which again, it's a nightmare. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna try to get all the face facial things and just put it in here. And we'll go from there. I don't know why I have a TJ Maxx bag in there. Oh yeah, I have these masks, which I love. I got these from Japan. Oh my god. Amazing. So, they don't seem to have space over here, so I'm just going to put it like that. So, I gotta go deep in this nightmare. Um, so, I am thinking this to be for eyeliners, lip liners, um, eyebrows, mascaras. So, and also I have a few eyelashes here and there that I just bought and never tried and I still have them. <laughs> so I'm gonna put them, I hope, in one of these things. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna just try to see where everything goes. Cause it is a lot, man. First of all, I'm just gonna take things that do not belong here and put them where they belong. This I never tried. This I already got. I don't know if I tried it, but. It's foundation here. Not a big fan of this foundation. And I'm gonna keep it for now. 
this is gonna go with um the primers right here powder This is just the hair piece that I got from Japan. I'm gonna put that away. This is gonna put this in the in here. This doesn't need to be here either. Now let's see. This is a foundation as well, so it doesn't need to be here. I'm going to stuff over here to help me move stuff around. So what I'm going to do, I have a thing right here that I want to keep for lipsticks. So I'm going to move all my lipstick stuff in here. Some space in here and just bring all the lipstick stuff from here over here. This is Sophia Nigara X Color Prop. I never <laughs> opened these things. Um, I got it right at the last time they were restocked, and I haven't even tried them, I haven't even took them out. But I'm gonna put them over here. Okay, and we're gonna rearrange that at, when the time comes. So I'm gonna put all my lipsticks right in here. Where to put this one? This is kind of tricky. I'm just gonna probably because it goes with the eyes. So I do have an empty thing right here. I'm just gonna leave it there. All right. Well, we are getting closer, right? I think the best thing to do is just kind of put all my eyebrow things in here. I haven't tried that one yet. I have not tried that one yet. I did try this one. It's one of my favorites. I have this one from Elf. I tried it. I like it. A few more products in here. This is from Essence. That one B. Blink. This one can go as an eyeliner. So I'm just gonna put it in here. Let's get this thing for eyebrows over here. This one just gets sent as well. I don't need this over here. This one's eyebrows. I don't need this one in here. Lashes here. Okay, and I'm just gonna pull most of the these things that are already in uh, packages because they don't need to stay in the packages, and then put them aside and just kind of place them in these things. And I think we can. I think that will work. I took some of the packaging off and that's how I arranged them. This is, uh, this is my eyebrows product. This is my eye product, which is some eyeliners and also mascara. And here's my lip liners. These are some things that I just not gonna keep. I mean, I'm gonna keep this one, but this one is for 
eye primer, so probably I'm just going to put it in here, and then later on I'm just going to add more stuff to it. But these two I'm not going to keep. I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with them. This one is just like a, I think it's for eyes, and this one is for hair. So probably I'm going to donate them. And this is my thing for eyelashes. So that's what I'm going to leave in here. So later on, what else was going to get in here? Probably the bags. So actually, I'm just going to put the bags in there. There's things in here that I want to use, so I'm just going to leave them in there. There are some Ulta products, which is going to come soon. I'm just going to use Ulta products for a full face. So, all these other ones, they fit in here. So, there you go. And that is it. That's a big difference. The last thing, Ugh, it's just so complicated, are going to be the lips, and <laughs> I'm going to have more lips in here, and then of course I have a lot of more lips and next on my uh, desk right there where I film, but yeah, there's a lot in here that we need to rearrange. Yep. I do have this that I haven't opened yet from Pat McGrath. Bunny never opened it. And I had it for such a long time. First edition limited release. <laughs> okay. Right there. And then I'm just going to put this in that corner. Together. Mm -hmm. I put these two together. I know this has a lot of controversy around it. I'm not even going to open it. I'm just going to say mine didn't have anything on it. Okay, I'm just going to put those. I'm just going to put the bullet lipsticks in here. Okay. Let's see, do I have any? I don't have that many bullet lipsticks. This small one right here. Them two in there. Let's see, do I have anything in here? Here. And there, I'm just gonna put only Jeffrey Star. Maybe should I take them out of the rubber or just leave it like that? Um, some of them I'm just gonna leave them like that because I have a bunch of Jeffree Star lipsticks. And um, they might not all fill in, fit in there. That's from Private Society. I have a bunch of them from them. Hourglass, and then let me see. I have another one in here, Jeffrey. Nope. I do have in here now for sure. So I have this one. I love this one, and then I have. Okay, that's on the floor. And I go with this one in Gemini. Love this one as well. And I uh, have this one too. Shane Dawson. I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna leave that. Probably I'm just gonna move that in here as well. So I'm gonna have to make more space. 
this one is the melted one. This little number right here. Phone number a second because it cannot move everything with one hand. Okay, so this is how I basically have everything right now. Um, I'm going to have to rearrange everything in here for sure. So it is not perfect, but at least they're all together and I can see a little bit when I want to pull something out. Um, probably going to have to buy something more in this area for liquid lipsticks and not these because these are more for bullet lipsticks and I do not have that many. So I need to buy one, one of those mm, or a bunch of them more um but yeah i think this is as good as it can get right now and with this one i am done organizing my the big thing because i do have to organize uh, my area where i am filming because i have a bunch of things over there on that desk but this I am so glad to see it all together. So, and then also I have to put some brushes in here. But yeah, here's my lipsticks. And then here's my, all my product, my face products. And then and these are all my eye products. So glad it's so pretty. And then all my powders and my bronzers and my foundations. I do have more foundations. We do need to put these in here and this one right here. And then all the way down. Oh my little nice area with um eyeshadow palettes so that's it oh yes i'm done thanks so much for watching i will see you next time with another video i hope you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you did and uh bye